Wait, are the game awards happening? Hi, hello, hello there. Am I missing the game awards? What's happening? Did Death Stranding win everything? Did Death Stranding lose everything? Did Outer Worlds win everything? Which is a game I think I, is bad. Oh God, I can't, I can't watch that. I'm like, I was gonna do some work. I'll just watch the highlight reel. I don't need the live, the live, uh, live updates. <clears throat> work later. No, I gotta, I gotta focus. I'm gonna focus now. So what you're saying is everybody's watching the game awards and no one's gonna watch this. That's okay. I just want to get this out of. My, I want to like finish the thing. Yeah, why would they do that? Why would they schedule it against me? Hello, hi, by the way, it's me, Scott. Um, I just wanted to continue the thing that uh, I was doing, which was uh, working on an OFF importer for Unity, which is obviously way more important than the Game Awards, right? What are my games of the year? I don't have to think about that. Uh, definitely did not like Outer Worlds, but I'm expecting it to win a lot of awards. Okay, so I had done, I did a tiny bit more work, just starting to make some data structures to do this. But we, at the end of the last stream, we at least got to the place that we were, we were like mostly parsing things. That made sense. And now, uh, I don't know why I just am in destruct lately. You know, just I don't know. I can't exactly describe why. I just feel like making structs. Feel like making structs. So there is going to be a vertex count. <clears throat> you're going to lurk me? Aren't you? You're not going to lurk me instead of the game awards? Gosh, Draclid. Seems like there should be a shorthand for this thing that I'm doing. In fact, I kind of feel like there is. What are you mad about? But I can't remember what it is. There's like some... What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Okay, <clears throat> so there's gonna be a vertex count. I don't strictly need both of these, but it's weird to call it a list because it's ugh. it's not a list. Let's do that. And color. So we could store as a unity color, but we kind of mess with it anyway. So like, eh. let's do this for now. Is that not a thing that matters here? Oh, it'd only be in the new, right. Um, Okay, so that's that data structure. I already started making the vertices. What are you mad about? Oh yeah, you're not this anymore. I didn't finish that. Vertex, here a face, face count. And then down here, we're just gonna say, It's a little tricky, right? Because I don't, I do assign it, but I assign it in another scope that. to use like bare metal arrays on this, but I just kind of want to, you know? Well, this person just didn't do it yet. I 
And can I not do the thing that I want to do here? Because it will be assigned, right? Hmm. Okay, there's other ways around this that I'm actually curious about, like... That's not how you spell that. Yeah, I need it. <clears throat> Is this just some obvious thing that shouldn't be complicated? Like I don't, I don't want to give it a size until I know the size, you know? But it doesn't get a size until in here. So like, what do I do? And I can't just do this, right? Cause this would be like, It would need a size. It just be. Can I do that? I guess I could like resize an array. I know there's a million other ways I could do this, but. Normally I just use lists for this stuff, but I kind of don't want to use lists. I kind of just want to practice. I also don't know really what to do about it. I mean, you know, like, because logic flow-wise, this would have to happen before this. Oh, I don't know. This weird problem. Does that count even if it's like I don't know what that means. I mean if it, if it has a thing but it's just default. I don't know what really that I don't know. We'll do that for now. So it's not that important. It's just me just trying to write code in a slightly different way than I normally do. Did I lie about this being assigned properly? Why didn't this happen first? The thing that I said would definitely happen first. Yeah, I, I understand like, <clears throat> I understand why it's giving me that error. I just don't know what the proper solution is, you know, without saying like, oh, I just have to, I mean, it's a, it's a valid error. I just don't know like the correct way to handle it. Default seemed to get rid of the syntax error. Um, but 
right after that, now the thing seems like it's not true. Like I was a liar. Like, no, elements are found. Yeah, we found elements here, right? We did find elements. And one of the things finding elements does is... Oh, because I keep doing this thing. Okay, this is just a silly error. Index is what I'm actually tracking, not count. Count is the total. I should maybe rename that. Okay. Cool, that works. So presumably I ended up with a bunch of vertices. I'd have to look at that inside. Eh. Okay, so. <clears throat> and I guess I know by the time I get to here, I would never get to there unless I'd done all the vertices, right? That looks like eight vertices. Okay. Wait, I probably should have made all this public, huh? I don't like the way, now I've lost the muscle memory for it, but the way that Visual Studio Code does multi-line selections, I'm not crazy about. Okay, so that gets us those. And now we want faces. Faces are a little more annoying because they're not like perfectly structured and there may or may not be wolf. Yeah, this, this kind of sucks a little bit. So let's print this and just see what is actually inside here. Yeah, there's groups. We don't care about what's in the groups now. We care about what's what's which in the capture list. <clears throat> so really, that seems not. It is group one, but it's capture zero. So so it's like <clears throat> this will be. Uh, Whatever. The face vertex count is, what's your problem? And then now we need to loop through that mini and actually really oh, am i in some iterator that's already i okay um <clears throat> but really Yeah, I was just trying to decide if we want to start at one and offset it or whatever, whatever, whatever. But we could also just offset it. So now we want, we also need like an int array base vertices int array uh, 
a new one of these. And then we need to say that face vertices J is equal to this nonsense. J plus one, because we're offset from the beginning there. I don't know why you decided to make that jet brains. And that seems okay. And then int color face colors equals new. Let's just face color really. It's new int three three. And that's really optional, but in all the cases I'll be using it. I don't, you know, I'm not trying to build like a super robust universal tool for anybody who wants to parse OFF files. I have a very specific use case I want, and I kind of want to move on to the actual work I want to do. So that seems like a thing that could work. And then we need to do I mean, I don't actually need to loop through this, but may as well. J will equal, this is where it gets a little bit weird, but it should be, so if it was like zero, one, and there was one face, two is where the color would start. So it'd be zero, one, two. So it would be like, J plus one plus face vertex count plus one bumps it up to the one and if this was only one that would bump it to the two I think that's correct but could very well be totally wrong okay and then we will make a faces Face index equals new face, face vertex count, face vertices, face color. Wait, that's not what I said. Face vertices. Get in there. Something like that. Okay, that seems good. Now, so that's our parsing. Like we basically did our parsing, which is cool. Like, I don't really want to keep just stacking things at the end of this giant procedure, but I'm gonna, for now. I'm gonna split it out later. Okay, so, so here's the thing we have to do. We have to go through each of the faces get the vertices and then we're going to copy those vertices into a new mesh so we want like mesh mesh equals new mesh can i do that mesh dot vertices well so here's what we'll need we will need a like actually what does that want Mesh that vertices is an array of vector threes. And then indexes for them, but we don't want to share anything. That's deliberate in this case. So we will say that we need like a vector three 
mesh vertices. I definitely could use vector three, but I wanted to make my own data structure for no reason. Um, actually, is it an array of them? What was it? Yeah, it's just an array of vector threes. Okie dokie. So vector three mesh vertices equals new vector three. And the number of vertices we will have is, um, A little tricky because it's the total number of faces times their individual vertex counts and I didn't monitor that so we could just have some counter so this is different than just the vertex count because we don't want to share anymore this, this we want to be like inefficient, but with with reason. So for now, we will just say um, the face up total vertices is gonna add. And the reason that I'm not just doing it like four times the face vertex count is in more complex pieces of geometry, different faces will have different numbers of vertices. So we can't rely on we kind of have to know at this level. So then down here, do something like that. Okay. And then mesh triangles is a whole another set of business that I'm in. Woof. How do we do that? Mesh triangles. Yeah, it's a bunch of integers containing all the triangles in the mesh. It's going to be a little annoying. But let's do it. Okay, so int. Nope. Int mesh triangles equals new. I don't know is the thing. Is there a way I can easily know how many triangles based on a number of sides? Like three means one triangle, but four, as soon as there's four, I need two triangles and five means three triangles. And is that actually true? If I have three points, then it's just one triangle to draw it. If I have four points, then I need two. And if I have five, I need three. So it's sort of like, ugh, is it really just face vertex count minus two? Or sorry, the total vertices? No, that's not right. So total vertices would be like total triangles. Again, I could easily solve this by using something that would rescale to different sizes, but I just feel like I want to try to be needlessly efficient. You know, just add some little constraints just to make it a little more interesting, maybe. Uh, so total triangles will weirdly be... I think for the way I'm gonna make the triangles that this is actually true. Because I'm gonna make them in a real silly way. Which I think will be fun. Okay, cool, 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 new int um, total triangles. I really am doing a good job of spelling triangles in all cases, every across the board. I'm doing a great job. I'm doing a good job of putting things inside brackets. Excellent work. Okay, so. Hi. Hello. Hope you're well. Um, I'm still, I don't know about this. Maybe I should switch back to science and tech. I feel like I'm feel a little naked out here, frankly. 
in uh, IRL or just chatting or whatever this is called now. I heard back from Twitch today about new heat stuff. Um, t, uh, uh, news, more news to come. So, okay, so here's what we have to do. We have to loop through all the faces. Do I want an index? Probably. Okay, and then the current face will be... I don't really need a face count, but whatever. I'm always, am I still inside I? Well, I don't want to be in here. None of this should be in here. I'm glad that silly... Uh... Okay, is this better? Sure. This is a silly, I mean, this is not an ideally structured file, but sometimes I like to just, before breaking things into like multiple files or even a multiple procedures, I like to just get it all in front of me, you know? Um, organize on a second pass. So I got my face. So here's what I have to do. I have to take each of these Yeah, so I need to know like a mesh. Um, like where I am in that world. And then I'm gonna need to do like for problem here oh you're an integer and then what did I actually put inside there this isn't really vertices this is vertex indices can I do this is this smart enough Because there's a distinction there. Yeah, those are the indexes of those vertices in the vertex list. So, let's just try to get through one face to start with, which should be pretty easy because this is just a cube. So, we need to know like the vertex offset. So we kind of need to know like is um, this, I'm going to have a vertices index and an indices vertex. Oh, I don't know. OK, anyway. Uh, so this is the the mesh vertices index, because we're going to look at those indices and ugh. My naming may be horrible, but whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna have face vertex is equal to face uh, face vertex indices J. Mm -hmm. 
No, you're just called Vertex Embassies. Face dot Vertex Embassies. Which is good. And then... No, you're just an int um, vertex index. And then I have to get the vertex vertex equals vertices vertex index. So that is the vertex that this point on the face corresponds to. I gotta just break this into other procedures. It's getting ridiculous. No reason not to, zero reason not to. So let's just do it. I reached my, I reached my limit. So, what much data we need? A lot of that stuff can be global. It really wouldn't hurt anything. Because that's all stuff I'm carrying along. Just so I don't have to pass a bunch of stuff around. Okay, so, does this work? Very questionable naming going on here. <laughs> okay, so, we now know a vertex, and that's great. We know the vertex, though, of from the old vertex list, and if I wanted to keep these joined, it'd be really easy, because I would just basically build a Unity mesh that follow the same thing, but I don't. I want to build my own mesh where that is inefficient and silly. Um, because I want to. So here's the thing. I just gotta like think this through for just a second. Okay, good. What do we actually need to accomplish? The first thing we need to do is I need to know where I am in this big vertex array, right? And so part of part of the first job is just to put this stuff in there. So then I can say mesh vertices whatever equals new vector three vertex dot x vertex dot y vertex dot z is really no reason there's no reason that for me to make my own data structure what is this for i am making i think we've looked at this in the past this um doing work with the stuff generated by antiprism which i'm almost certain we've looked at that software before it generates off files and i'm on a job i'm working on uh right it's a really bad pipeline where it's like, oh, I use antiprism to generate the OFF and then that goes through a thing to convert it to an OBJ. And then I take that into Cinema 4D or Maya and do stuff to it and change it to an FBX. And then I take that FBX into Unity and process that and generate a custom mesh asset. So I just wanted to take a stab at going, skipping those three intermediate steps and just taking the OFF straight into Unity, building a mesh from it. Um, and doing what I want to. And that, that we have a lot more control that way. So it's just building a mesh from scratch using OFF uh, 
files, but I, I have pretty specific ways that I want the geometry of that mesh to be built. And that makes it a little more complicated, not crazy more complicated, but a little more complicated. Um, so if I just did this, if we just did this, I believe that this would cram all of the vertexes we care about into um, a big old cool array. Done. I only added this line so I can break on it. Uh, Oh, I didn't call that procedure. Function. What do the kids call it these days? So there should just be inside this a big, beautiful. Well, this looks bad. Why do none of these have values? Uh, that's a little weird. What horrible thing did I do? Hmm. Wasn't this working a minute ago? Like, wasn't it? Did I mess something up here? What did I do? Now, wait a minute. I'm almost sure that this was working at one point. Or did it never actually work? What absurdly silly thing have I done now? Oops. What is the shortcut? Wait, why didn't it? Why didn't I hit that? Oh, did I break something out that wasn't actually supposed to be broken out? I commented out my useful. Yeah, we didn't find any vertex info, so of course it's roll zero. Okay. How, what did I do? So if vertex index and the vertex index gets set, vertex count gets set there. Okay, I've made a silly mistake. I wonder what it is. So this is working, and then I'm continuing here, and it's like it's not, it's like this isn't happening. Vertex index equals eight. Does it? Yeah. 
and increase it down here. I mean, that doesn't really need to be out here, but I'm still a little confused as to why why that happened, but okay. Where was I doing that before? Why would that... What silly thing am I missing? Oops. Okay, well now we found them again. I don't exactly know what I did there. Something silly? Oh, I know why. I think I know why. Well, those weren't public though. Okay, I don't know why. I thought it was like a weird serialization thing, Unity editor serialization thing. If they're like if they're public, but maybe that doesn't make any sense. Anyway, it's fine like that. So, okay, now we should have. What is the? Is that the button I want? Yeah. Now we hopefully have lots of exciting things in our. Yes, which that seems like too many vertices. <laughs> uh, one of them seems correct and everything else seems wrong. So That has data in it. This has data in it. I don't actually understand why some of these. It's a weird shot sized cube, but okay. So I definitely did something wrong. I didn't do this. That would be it. I needed to increment that. Um, okay, this should work, I hope. Yeah. That looks more reasonable, right? Okay, but that doesn't seem quite right, though, because a cube has... There should only be 24 of these, so why are there however many there are? Why are there 120? Because I told it there were. And the reason I did that was, why did I do that? Am I like inside of a loop that I shouldn't be here? Base vertex count. Do those seem correct? Yeah, these are all just four. So... What? This should only happen if we find a face.
that is remaining. So it does seem like a weird civilization thing, like every time I run it. So that's bad. So really, okay, that was this was what my problem was before, and I just didn't quite understand that between runs, that state is staying. So I need to uh, not do that. Okay, silly problem. Probably should have known that, but that's what was happening before also. Okay, now do we have something resembling data that we would actually want? <coughs> Excuse me, pardon me. Um. Oh no, I lost my other debug. Yes, there are 24 of you and you have what kind of looks like reasonable data. So that's cool. Now here's where it's gonna get a little annoying to build the triangles. The triangles are definitely more annoying here. So we kind of want to know where we started So this will just be like, hey, where where do these begin? Where do the vertices for this particular face begin? Um, uh, okay, so this. We need to loop through this number of faces minus two times, right? So sorry, number of vertices minus two. Right, and then we need to say that what do we need to say? What do we need to say again? We need to say that, um. Like, it's going to be something like this. Um, like, and is going to be equal to. This index offset plus three times J. for the number of triangles 
Does that seem like a thing that makes sense? So... Oops. Okay, we actually run. Do run. Okay, so that's just to figure out three triangle indices. And this is like int mesh triangle index equals zero. And this is going to be something like index mesh triangles mesh triangle index plus plus equals index a a b c And actually, we need a int mesh, whatever, triangle index offset equals mesh triangle index. That's actually what we want. Right? Well, no, we don't need that for this. Because it's just straight up the triangles. So, something like that. Something like that. And then, after all this business, um, mesh dot vertices equals mesh vertices and mesh dot triangles equals mesh triangles triangles something like that almost Hmm. The face vertex count. Why is this so angry? Less than the vertex count. Number Syria yeah, vertex count minus two. Oh, well. We that's the number of triangles there are, but there should be three times that many vertices. Because for every one triangle, or sorry, indices. So is it actually this times three? Interesting. Some indices are ref referencing out of bounds vertices. The index count. Huh. Huh. 
That doesn't sound good. Right, so yeah, this is not going to be right then. Where the vertex in this offset is. Ugh, okay, so. Start with just one face. Um, let's see what we can figure out here. Okay, so one face. With just one face, those are our vertices, which is great. So we should, our triangles should be like zero, one, two, and one, two, three is what we want in triangles. So we have zero, one, two. What? I have fundamentally made some grievous mistake here. So that's not right. Those values should be the value of the Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, right. I don't want to do this. I don't want to jump ahead by three. Okay, so what did I actually say? I said we want zero, one, two, and then one, two, three. So I want zero, one, two. I don't want to jump ahead three. I only want to jump ahead one. Because I there there's overlap in them. Kind of a weird thing, but uh, it does make sense. Because to make a triangle, I need you know point zero, point one, point two, and then the next triangle is point one, two, three. Um, and so then if I look at this guy, I hopefully have zero, one, two, and then one, two, three, and that would continue down, and then it would be two, three, four so on, um, which looks like it's okay. Okay, cool. So now if I, I forgot what I changed up here. Face count, it was. Should have done that a different way. Okay. That seems good. So I have vertices and I have triangles. Now I need to save this mesh. So I need to like... This is what I want. Okay. Okay, so I need right. Oh no, that's fine. I am an editor. That's all good. So this is just mesh and we'll just call you cube. It's gonna be great. Okay, so this mesh is not gonna have normals, it's not gonna have anything. Why? Do I need to do like persistent data path or something? What is it?
this thing. Where's his entire path? But I want that. I want the asset path. So. Does it just have to be prefixed? Okay, whatever. Can make all that more robust later, but <clears throat> okay. Did I end up with the cube? Well, like kind of almost something like a cube. But I don't actually want zero, one, two, and then one, two, three. I want zero, one, two. Okay, if it was zero, one, two, the next thing I want is actually two, three, Zero. So it's even a little weirder. Yeah, okay, so it's even weirder. This should be offset by two. But then this last guy needs to be mod. Because if I do this right now, it's going to be too big. Actually, it might need to be mod minus one. That's kind of almost right, sort of. Oh, no, that can't be true. That is like, ugh. Vertex offset plus all of this. Something like that. I mean, it would actually be easier if I just did it like this. Because then it would be a little easier for me to just think about what those vertices are relative to a single face rather than every face. OK, that's a little less confusing, maybe. Oh my gosh, I made a cube. What a triumph. It has no normals. We gotta generate normals next, which really should just be the cross product of any two vectors of like Not true. Okay, so now we need normals.
mesh norals. And then at the end we'll say yeah, mesh normals equal to mesh normals. Um, So this is all kind of almost the same-ish, but here's what's going to be weird. I guess I could calculate the face normal Like very first thing, I want to iterate through. In fact, let's just do it while we do this because we already have the right. So it's going to be mesh normals, mesh vertex index, and let's just increment this after the fact. So it's slightly less confusing. And that'll be like mesh face normal. And we just need to figure out how we want to calculate the mesh face normal. So I think that We will say, I really think it is, we just have to get a vector that points from like point 0.1 to point 0.2, et cetera, et cetera. So if it's like, you know, like a point A and a point B and a point C. And those will correspond, I think, just to, um, Ah, oh, shucks. This is a little bit annoying. Because it's like, we've got to get our vertex. Yeah, it's something like this. Okay, let's just do it not very pretty for the moment. But I think it's that. Basically, I just want the first, second, for third points. Um, and that's all I care about. And then I want to get a vector that is like B minus A. Oh yeah, these are vertex indices, is that? Oh no, those are the actual vertices, not face vertices. Shoot. Is that what it's called? What is our original? Oh. <laughs> Why did I do it? I just, let's just not do that. Let's just not do this. There's no real reason to do this. Just like I was making a face one and I made the other one, but let's just not do it. Let's say that this is a vector three. That's not even true. That is, that is still indices. This is what changes. Can I not refactor this? Guess not. Do 
You're mad. You're mad. You're mad. You can just be that now. Okay, a little bit simpler. What are you mad about? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so what do we know? We know that we want like a vector three dot cross and it's gonna be point B minus point A and point C minus point A. And I really might have that like super duper wrong, but let's try it. Like it could just be so wrong. That looks sort of like light hitting a thing. It seems like it's going a little weird on the bottom. But I would maybe believe that those were, maybe believe those are proper normals. I don't know why it gets brighter at the bottom again, but. So, I wish you could associate a material with a mesh like that. I don't think you can. Okay, so if we did do material cube. That, hey, that kind of looks like a mesh. That isn't bad. So that's pretty handy. You now we could do all kinds of other things like mess with um, vertex colors and all that fun stuff. So what do we want? What would actually be useful? Um, one would be to like, if I could find like a sample OFF file. I just want to try some other, an irregular polyhedron created by, Okay. Cube, cone. I just want to try to use somebody else's OFF file. So this one's going to break because it doesn't have colors. But let's try it and then we'll fix that. Okay, well, whatever. So this is definitely gonna break, but that's okay. The reason it's gonna break is because we're looking for, did we even do that yet? Maybe we didn't even, oh, we did, we did. So, um. So you're gonna break, right? Uh-oh. We didn't even try. Aren't you called cone.off? Cone. We didn't even find our first element. And that is because there were extra spaces. So we can just add this and this, and that will hopefully fix that. And then it will break at another line. Yeah, cool. Um, so that's totally fine, because that just means that this, it's all about the color. So we only want to do this if,
if there is a color. So like, um, this is like the offset of where we want to look for the color. And what we need to make sure that like if color offset is greater than or equal to Uh, okay, if color offset is less than this, then we're okay to do this. Else, and I could make this a real Unity color. Might as well, right? Ah, that'll be a little, a little annoying though, because then I have to get all three and then do the thing. Mm. Okay, let's ignore that for the moment, because we're not even concerned about colors at the moment. So, what do you want to say? this. So that kind of seems like I made a thing. This cone does not seem as happy as our cube, gotta say. This looks like it has reverse normals. This looks like it has reverse faces. Well, that's a real problem. Like that my triangle order is fully backwards, but it worked for this one. Uh, lame. Why does this example... Well, I don't want to deal with that. I'm just going to assume that maybe that one's bad. Let's try this dodecahedron. Everybody loves dodecahedrons. What happened? Looks kind of valid, but maybe it's not. What's your problem? Well, that's weird. Why would the vertices not? I said we found a bunch of vertex info. We didn't find any faces. Why didn't we find any faces? Is it because the faces can start with extra spaces? Mm, we said there could be any number of... Hmm. Start of the line, there could be any number. That's not any number though, right? Does it actually need to be this? Try our regex.info, whatever that was. Where were we? Some cool regex site. Oh no. Life is yours. Where are you when I need you? Some regex site, you know, called something cool. Oh no, my chat log doesn't go all the way back. Oh no, what was it called? Was it the Regex 101 one? What was this one? 
I don't know. Okay. Let's put uh, this in there. I need all those spaces. Oops. And my regex. I forgot to put my end. So what's the problem? Oh. Didn't I try that? Here, except line terminator. So, why is group one? Wait, what? That wasn't true with this, was it? Is that because it hits something different? There's some number of those, and then eventually there's a... But this is like matching across lines. I don't want to do that. Oh, I want to match white space, but not new lines. Would that be better? It would. Like horizontal white space, not vertical white space. I should do that for everything, actually, it seems. Um, but then there can still be like some amount of nonsense at the end. Okay, that's good to know. Should probably change all of those, all our other guys. Well, let's try this. You don't know to, oh man. What is slash W? Any white sp space, including that. Okay. Any word. Okay, whatever. So then we just need to replace all these with that. Literally match only spaces. Okay. Still not happy. This Wait, did I not paste? 
Yeah, so amount of space at the end. You. This was still not happy. That looks okay. So what's your problem? Oops. Guess we can dump this back in here. Oh no, we can't because we're not even finding anything. Did I actually recompile? That's another question. It thinks we're not matching anything, which is not cool. Well, that's what we're trying to match. There's spaces at this end sometimes, but not always. Um, this space, yeah, could be there, could not be. Hmm. Why are you unhappy? Zero matches. Cool. Does this mean I broke the cube? Why didn't that work? Is that just a dumb place? The premier online regex tester. Um, I mean, I don't know if it's actually helping. So, Okay, where, where did we land? We liked this. Seems good, right? So, that is exactly what is in there, and that is what is in the file. Does it still match this? Well, why are you matching? Okay, yeah, that's the full match. That's okay. It's just whatever craft is there, and that's fine. So, we don't strictly need this. Why don't you work? Get the vertices, but not the faces. problems here sort of looks like a 
Why is that true? Why are, why are those duplicates happening? Let's go back to cube for a minute. Cube seems happy. Okay. So they actually, it looked like there was some other issue with these. We had more than 20 or something. Okay, those seem good. Um, okay. Really, we only want to do this if there is a match, though, right? So maybe that was just bad logging. How many are there? Should be 20. We're seemingly bailing after 10. Well, that's suspicious. What happens after that? Maybe the problem wasn't with... This is our vertices. Oh, <laughs> we're, we're not matching them all because... There could be more than just one. Yep. That was silly. Okay. More than one space there. So cool. Okay. That felt like almost better, but now what? Now, so now we have five faces, so it's very possible that my logic for um, how to do those is very flawed. Um, and I feel like I need a piece of paper to think about it. BRB. I'm not gonna stream for too much longer. Okay, let's just try this on the back of an envelope. Let's see what my deal is. So if I have just a triangle, then it's like zero, one, two. We got that. If I have a square, then it's zero, one, two, and two, two, three, zero. Okay, if I have a Pentagon, I need to make one that goes, yeah, that should be three triangles, which would be like zero, one, two for that triangle. I don't know if it really matters exactly where I start. I don't, yeah, I don't know if it cares that much which it probably matters I, as long as it goes you know you continue clockwise I think that matters but anyway so if it was like zero one two and then say it was two three zero and then it was Oh, 
not three, four, one. Three, zero, two, three, zero, three, four, zero. Okay, I think I need a, just a, a different pattern for this. Um, because I think what I want it to be, where was that nonsense? That nonsense is in here, or is it? It's this nonsense. So this isn't actually right. We don't want to reset there. We want to always basically connect to zero. We kind of want to do like zero, one, two, zero, two, three, zero, three, four would be one way to do it that I think is still valid. I think. Um, Draclan, how's it going? I am generating models. I can't quite remember the triangle order. I'm trying to import some more complicated models and it's definitely breaking a little bit. Uh, I can't remember like the order, if it matters the order. I know the order clockwise or counterclockwise matters, but I don't know if it actually matters like the order of the vertices when I make the triangles. Yeah, the order of those, but that's fine. So what I'm gonna try to do, and maybe this is silly, it almost certainly is, is say that index one is always zero. So basically I wanna say zero, one, two, zero, two, three, zero, three, four. For the, in, in this case, those are the triangles I would want. Um, which means that the first index A is always zero. And then we don't even want this mod. We don't, we don't need that if we do this right. But basically, then we want to add 0, 1, 2, plus 1 times j, I think. So this would be, if this was 0, j was 0, 0, 1, 2. If j was 1, this would be 0, 2, 3. Yeah, I think this works. How's your progress going, Draclan? OK, that seemed happy. That was still for our, our, oh yeah, look, we made a dodecahedron. Oh my gosh. And those triangles look pretty good. The normals look seemingly okay. Maybe. I mean, it's not a cone, you know, but I feel like the cone, the order of those triangles seem backwards. The work area, that's my private area. You don't know, what, I'm gonna put the mouse button here. You don't know what I'm doing in there. I could be doing anything. Um, that was, oh yeah, sorry. The preview area of the model was probably totally blocked. It's up here now. Kisses, thanks for the kisses. So uh, I made this dodecahedron, terrific. I also made this inside out cone, but we're gonna ignore that fact. So these look like, these look like models and they look like they have okay geometry. Like, shaded wireframe. Yeah, that's not bad. And they should be, the thing that's important, I did it, I invented Doom, it's me, it's me. Actually, the normals don't look so great over here, why is that? Remember when I said the normals were good? What the heck is that? Oh, is it a weird self-casting shadow thing because my faces aren't actually connected? Okay, I could live with that. Um, so here's what I wanna try. Here's how we can actually really decide if my face normals are good. Is let's make a silly shader. Uh, I don't wanna import Riley Order under pipeline. Let's just do it. And like, can I just do it now? In 2019.3, can I just make a... Apparently not. I thought you, I thought, 
Universal Render Pipeline was the default now. So normally, if you wanted to be an efficient person and you wanted to make a cube, you would say, oh, cool, a cube only has eight corners, right? So you would make a list of those vertices, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can even look at that. Um, you'd say, here's eight vertices. Here's how you define those, you know, just eight points in space. And then separately, you do your faces and just say, okay, find the indices of um, these points and then make a face out of it. So that's what's happening here is it's saying, okay, just from my list of vertices, use the first one, the, the zeroth one, the first one, the second and the third and make a square out of that. And then make another face, but reuse that same point. So reuse zero and reuse three. And so it's much more efficient because it's like, oh, I can define these faces with only eight vertices and then I have six faces. Um, when you do that, you get what, what you'd call an airtight model, meaning there's no gap between here and here. Like my, if you're thinking of my two hands as faces, they're not separate things. They're actually sharing vertices. And if I grabbed one corner, it would move both of them, um, which is usually what you would want. You would usually want that. However, if you want to do weird animation where you're like splitting faces off, there's various other reasons you might want this, but um, weird animations where you're splitting faces off, it's useful to say, actually be inefficient and track, even though these two faces connect at the same point here at my index fingertips, count that as two separate vertices and it's kind of a waste of memory, but there's reasons you want to do that. You also want to do that for normals because a vertex normal says how light is going to hit it. And if these share a normal, you could say like, well, the normal could point this way. And then this face, the light would be wrong because it would sort of, if the light was shining here, it would still be lit. So a common thing to do is to have like an average normal between. Um, so it's funny when you, when you don't want a polygonal look and you want like, oh, it's lower polygons, but I want rounded shading over it. That's where it's convenient to, to say like, oh, the faces share vertices and then have normals and, and then have a normal that's kind of an average in between. But if you deliberately want uh, a really low poly look with really hard edges, this non-intuitively, it actually takes more information to do that. So you might think like, oh, a smooth mesh probably needs more data, but for the same same mesh density, uh, and you if you want those hard like low poly style edges, you probably actually do need to break them so the normals can be that way. I don't know if that made any sense. The models aren't sharing. Yeah, so the models I'm generating, I don't want to share those, and I'll show you why. Let's write a weird shader that will um, show us why. Although I will have no lighting on this shader. That's kind of lame. It would have been convenient to have, well, I guess it's not lame, it's just a surprise. I thought uh, the universal render pipeline was the default in 2019.3, and you wouldn't have to have other packages, but what do I know? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my vertex and before I put it where it goes, I'm going to just add to it like uh, one of these already is the sign of time, I think. Yeah, it's something like... Um, The sign of time dot x. Times. V dot normal. Um, times point one. Getting spoiled by the shader graph now. Can't remember how to write stuff anymore. Let's just make typos everywhere. That seemed like it didn't work at all. 
Wonder why. Oh, plus equals. What? Why not? Can I just pretend this is a float for? Did it do a very tiny amount? Was that not enough? Well, it did recess in, but why is the sign of time not... Why is time not advancing? I thought that would advance. Oh, if I like, ugh. Okay, we probably have to be in play mode. Okay. Why is the sign of, what's going on everybody? We're just really slow sine wave. Okay, yeah. Uh, Z is maybe the slowest, maybe W is fast. And let's just do this times one. Blah. And then let's square this. New trick I learned recently. Cool. And then let's uh, maybe make it not quite so. And then let's not call. Yeah, so if these weren't separated, when I did this, it would just kind of stretch them around. You know, it wouldn't, um, those vertices would be shared. So if I did this on a unity cube, if I put this, uh, if I made a unity cube and I put this material on that cube. Oh, the unity cube is already split, so never mind. Interesting. I would not have anticipated that. Is that true for the sphere also? Is that the wrong thing? This. Yeah, so the sphere doesn't split because the sphere it's just growing along the normals, which is cool. Like if you want to pulsate a thing, this is a really simple way to do it. Um, if you want to like bulge and pulsate a thing, but if I want it to, yeah, right. It would just grow shrink. And so the split likes that split happen, but I'm the project I'm working on I'm doing way more complicated things where you can interact with these separately. And it lets me have really complicated geometries, but manage everything on the GPU, which is cool. Are there any other, what's going to be our next, off test. Here's an icosahedron. Let's try it. Ignore the fact that that says cone. Um, uh oh. How come every single file we run into an error? Why? Okay, this has colors. These colors are float values. Interesting. Okay, what's your problem? So the first face, I wonder why it's freaking out. How did the range of valid values? So I said face vertex indices, which should be the number, hmm. How could that be true? Specified argument was out of the range of valid values. Oh. Huh. What? And this was on our very first face that we found? So we saw this. And 
and it was three, the number three. So what are you angry about? Was that not actually the right line number? Oh, the print? What? What? So we printed one of them and the second one didn't print. So what's our what's our issue here? Group one, value is three, capture zero is three. And then the next capture looks like it should be two. Okay, we may have to go back to the old um, regex validator friend, our buddy here. And every one of these files is formatted slightly differently, which is very exciting. Um, and try this, and then try that with this. Kind of annoying, actually, that everything is formatted differently. Yeah, so our issue is, what is our issue? Yeah, if I don't have a million spaces there. Oh, it's a tab. Uh, cool. Okay, well, apparently tabs are a thing. Shoot, and apparently floats are a thing. That's kind of annoying because some of the other formats I looked at, the colors were. Ugh, I don't know if regex is really the way I want to do this. I mean, I guess I could match the colors and the faces separately. Maybe that's the actual solution, but. Okay, we can at least say space or tab or valid things. I mean, the real answer to this is I care exactly, I care about ex like parsing a file from one program. So as long as that is valid, then it's kind of okay with me. Like, in fact, I kind of don't even want to change this. I sort of just want to edit the file and say, hey, tab. Hello, inexplicable tab. You're a space now. And I also want to say, Um, but we don't have colors in this one. Because it's also not too hard to edit these files. Just while I'm testing, like I'm not, I'm definitely not trying to build the perfect parser here. Okay, how about now? Seemed like it worked. Look at that beautiful icosahedron. It's stunning. Kind of surprising that this still works. We shouldn't. Okay. Uh, cool. Okay. So I think I've accomplished my goal for the evening, which is take these OFF files. Now I do actually need to build some files with Antiprism and make sure that it does the thing that I want, especially in the realm of color. <laughs> That's very kind of you to say life is yours. I feel like it took me longer to do this than it should have. Um, but it's cool. I feel like, you know, I did. I wanted, like, I think it's just from watching Jonathan Blow's compiler streams. Like, I was just was been thinking about parsing things. So I wanted to try to parse things. This is such a 
loosey goosey format though, where things can be tabs and spaces and whatever. Um, and I wanted to just think about building meshes from scratch because this really will be a huge time saver. If I can get this to do what I need it to do for this job. It, so just to recap, my current, my current process for the project I'm working on is generate some, something I like in anti-prism, pipe that to a utility to convert it to an OBJ, open that in either C4D or Maya, manually split up the faces, bake the colors, scale, like do a bunch of housekeeping on it there, uh, export an FBX. So now I'm like from OFF to OBJ to FBX, then I go into Unity and I parse that FBX and tear it apart and do a bunch more processing manually on the mesh. And I save it as an asset, like a custom mesh asset. And that's actually what I use in the application. So it's like from anti-prism, anti-prism is here and my application is here. I have to convert to OBJ to FBX and then a custom asset. And I can now ideally just cut out these three middle steps that were totally, totally not necessary. Uh, well, were previously necessary, but this little tool is pretty handy. And it wasn't that much work, it was just a few hours. Um, well, one of the problems, so the, one of the problems though, with this kind of thing where you are, um, how can I show this problem? Well, yeah, this is a good example of it. Once you start messing with geometry on the GPU like that, like your CPU side understanding of what's going on with that geometry is a little bit lost. I mean, that's kind of like why this this outline stays the same. Um, so that is a problem I've had on the project. I'm solving it in kind of a weird way where I basically have invisible game objects that represent the faces and then they just parse all their data and kind of or collate all the data for the face and then pass it to the GPU. Right now I'm doing it in textures. That's another thing I would like to figure out better um, that I don't have a great solution for. So like, if you want to do a bunch of fancy stuff in the GPU, one of the old tricks used to be, oh, just cram it all into a texture, all the data you care about into a texture and send it to the GPU and have the GPU churn on it and then do whatever it needs to do at the other side. Um, but there's better ways to do that, I feel like, now with compute buffers and all that fun stuff, but I just was having trouble with getting that to do exactly what I wanted to do in Unity, so I'd like to get a little bit better at that. Anyways, I think I'm done for the night. Thanks for hanging out. Life is yours, and Draclin, as always, your, your little stars in, my, in, the, in, the, in the sky of my life, my beautiful constellation with two stars, you, star one and star two. Um, look at my hair. I need a haircut. Look, at it looks fake. It looks like I have a just plastic shell on my head where hair should be. It's like a Lego hair almost. Anyway, have a lovely evening, and um, we will talk soon. Maybe I'll stream again tomorrow. I gotta get back to some heat stuff. Yeah, I do. Okay, goodbye.